Hi guys, Matt from Tech Reviews here. I've got the Trust Leather iPad case for the first generation iPads from Targus to review today. It doubles up as a case and a stand. Let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, it's quite it's a relatively thick case, which is gonna add quite a bit of protection to your iPad. Which is uh, that's most likely something you'll be looking for when you're buying a new case. It's uh, held together by an elasticated band, which is pretty similar to the ones you find on notebooks and diaries. That's uh, where, also where, the Targus logo is featured. If we open up the case, we've got the usual polystyrene bits and all the rubbish they put in these various products, representing the iPad there once it's once it's in the case. It's uh, in the material, it's kind of, it's kind of like a soft felt, which is uh, designed to protect the iPad from being scratched or damaged in any any way. Not a big fan of the colour, but if it's going to protect protect the iPad, then I suppose I could live with it. As you can see, there are two two indents there, which are there for adjusting the viewing angle of your iPad once it's in there. So uh, if you pull the tray back slightly, that's how you convert how you convert it into the stand. So uh, probably one of the uh, most well designed cases I've seen for a while. So uh, once you put the iPad in the in the case, they'll be held in place by these three lever three lever sections there. You can pull the pull the two corner corner pieces back to uh, allow access for the iPad. So uh, take a look at how it looks in the case. As you saw before, the two two indents here they're for two different viewing angles which you can have whilst using the stand feature. It's a fairly simple process to pop it into that feet into the stand position. Just pop the iPad tray out like so. And you can slot it into either of the indents there, or like that. I did find that uh, neither of these angles were very good for typing emails or browsing the web. So I literally just took the iPad tray out of the indents and placed it down like that. Seems to provide a, really good, a relatively good angle for typing. If we go on and close the whole thing up, can see that it fits fairly securely in between the top and the bottom of the case. The edges of the uh, case do come out over the iPad, which presum presumably stops the edges of the iPad being damaged if you did if you did drop it. So it costs between twenty five and forty pounds, which is uh, not a very bad price at all. It's available from quite a few online retailers. Thank you for watching, and if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning this case, check out the giveaway we're having by clicking the link here, or in the info section below. If you'd like to be notified of any new videos we post, you can just click the subscribe button above, and remember to like and comment this video.